good afternoon to one and all present here my name is rishabh shukla and i am currently working as a postdoc scholar at the university of oklahoma and i am presenting the work that i had done during my phd the topic of my presentation is performance of a modified trickling filter in removing conventional and emerging pollutants from urban sewage and on site evaluation in new delhi india emerging pollutants can be defined as any synthetic or naturally occurring chemical or microorganism that are not regularly monitored in the water bodies but these substances are seen to have a negative impact on the environment and human health the prevalent group of emerging pollutants are pharmaceutical and personal care products endocrine disrupting compounds antibiotic antibiotic resistant bacteria and antibiotic resistant genes due to inefficient treatment technologies conventional wastewater treatment plants are unable to remove emerging pollutants from wastewater consequently these harmful chemicals and microorganisms are often released into the receiving water bodies in large quantities wastewater generated from hospitals households and industries contains significant amount of emerging pollutants which finally end up in the conventional sewage treatment plants these conventional stps are well known for their ability in removing organics and nutrients from wastewater but since these systems were specifically designed to tackle conventional pollutants removal of emerging pollutants through these systems is insignificant as a result these harmful chemicals are often released into the water bodies and can be bioaccumulated through food webs causing health risks to wildlife and human health recently lots of reports have been published on the harmful effect of the emerging pollutants on human and other living organisms for example dramatic decline in the population of vultures in south asia resulting from exposure to diclofenac endocrine disruptive compounds are a cause of concern as they are seen to have an effect in the endocrine system of aquatic animals and humans the effect to human can result in change to the reproductive health system birth defect cancer issues and decrease male fertility moreover antimicrobial resistance is a global health and development threat and who has declared that amr is one of the top 10 global public health threats facing humanity misuse and overuse of antimicrobials are the main drivers in the development of drug resistant pathogens and lack of clean water and sanitation inadequate infection prevention and control promotes the spread of amr in the environment globally around 80% of the wastewater is directly discharged into the environment without treatment especially in the developing countries more than 95% of the wastewater does not undergo sufficient treatment and the inadequate waste treatment facilities in developing countries are the main cause for the spread of emerging pollutants into the water bodies therefore in this study we have developed a decentralized wastewater treatment system named as modified trickling filter for the treatment of urban sewage in the developing countries like india mdf comprises of separate aerobic and anoxic zone and these separate aerobic and anoxic zone could offer various micro environments allowing several mitigation mechanisms such as sorption degradation and filtration to remove complicated emerging pollutants and pathogens in mdf ventilation holes are provided in aerobic zone through which oxygen can be easily diffused from the atmosphere through the bed by natural ventilation and the aerobic zone of the reactor was designed to perform nitrification while the purpose of anoxic zone was to perform denitrification in each zone polyurethane sponges were used as a biofilm support media and these porous sponges prevents the washout of bacterial cell from the reactor and provide longer sludge retention time which allows the growth of slow growing bacteria such as nitrifiers and denitrifiers inside the reactor that can help in the biodegradation of micropollutants so to evaluate the performance of mtf in removing emerging pollutants and urban sewage stream in new delhi was selected for the study barapula drain which is second largest drain of delhi and is directly contaminating the river yamuna was selected as a representative of urban sewage because this 13 km long drain passes through the urban community and mainly receive discharge from hospitals and households so mtf was initially operated at the hrt of 4 hour and at 4 hour hrt more than 61% reduction in cod ammonical nitrogen and phosphate was observed however in the affluent of the mtf high concentration of nitrate was observed 
which implies that denitrification was not occurring in the anoxic zone of the reactor. Therefore, to overcome the carbon deficient condition in anoxic zone, HRT of the reactor was further reduced to 2.5 hour in order to increase the organic loading rate. However, at high organic loading rate, decrease in the performance of MTF was observed. And in effluent, high concentration of ammonical nitrogen was observed, which indicates that the microbes and organics did not get sufficient contact time. Therefore, to increase the contact between microbes and pollutants, effluent of the MTF was recirculated to the aerobic zone, and the recirculation ratio was gradually increased from 0 to 1, and more promising results in terms of nitrate removal was observed at 0.5 recycle ratio. And the reason for enhanced nitrogen removal during, uh, during recirculation could be due to the increase in the contact time between microbes and pollutants. And best removal of the conventional pollutant was achieved at two hour HRT with 0.5 recycle ratio. Therefore, the removal of emerging pollutant was further tested at this best optimized HRT. In addition, to understand the microbial community structure, sequencing was performed. And sequencing results revealed that the widespread distribution of various nitrifiers, denitrifiers, aerobic denitrifiers, and NMOX in MTF indicates the coexistence of simultaneous nitrification and denitrification process in MTF. So after successful operation of MTF in removing conventional pollutants, performance of MTF was further assessed for the removal of emerging pollutants, such as antibiotic resistant genes and pharmaceutical and personal care products. In urban sewage of Barapula drain, beta lactam was most dominant group of antibiotic resistant genes followed by tetracycline, macrolide, and quinolone resistant genes. In terms of removal of ARG through MTF, around 0.5 log reduction was achieved for tetracycline and quinolone resistant genes. Around 1 log reduction was achieved for macrolide and carbapenem resistant genes, while 0.7 log reduction was achieved for beta lactam resistant genes. Overall removal profile of ARG shows maximum re removal was achieved for macrolide resistant genes followed by beta lactam, tetracycline, quinolone, and mobile genetic elements in MTF. The removal of ARGs during biological waste treatment is mainly depend on their adsorption on the biomass. Therefore, in MTF, removal of ARG during the process could be explained by their adsorption on the biomass. Further, the performance of MTF was assessed for the removal of pharmaceutical and personal care products. So in the, in the raw sewage of Barapula drain, atenolol, diclofenac, metformin, and triclosan were detected at the concentration of over 1000 nanogram per liter. And during MTF operation, more than 80% reduction in the concentration of atenolol, sulfamethazine, renitidine, and triclosan was observed. In biological waste treatment system, Removal of micropollutants is mainly accomplished either by biodegradation or by bioabsorption or by both. In fixed fuel bioreactor, the chances of biodegradation are higher because high sludge retention time inside the reactor allows the growth of slow growing microorganisms. And these microorganisms secretes different types of enzymes, which can ultimately help in the degradation of micropollutants. Therefore, in this regard, dioxygenase gene is one of the key enzymes play a cru crucial role in the degradation of organic compounds. And without the activity of dioxygenases, mineralization of these compounds is not possible. So dioxygenases metabolizes compounds by increasing their reactivity or water solubility or bringing cleavage of the aromatic ring. Therefore, the abundance of dioxygenase genes, NIT A, NAR A, and PDO A were quantified using QPCR in MTF. And these genes were present in both the zones as relatively high level of more than six log copies per gram. So, and the distribution of these genes throughout the MTF indicates that the biodegradation can be one of the key factors controlling the removal of PPCPs in MTF. Moreover, from literature survey, it was found that few genera such as Cloacibacterium, Flavobacterium, Pseudomonas, and Bacillus plays important role in the biodegradation of some of the pharmaceutically aptic compounds. And the presence of these genes and the genera in MTF also indicates their role in biotransformation of PPCPs inside the reactor. So 
This table summarizes the performance of MTF with conventional activated sales process. So organic removal efficiency of MTF is quite comparable with ASP, while MTF outperform ASP in denitrification. For antibiotic resistance, bacteria and genes, both the technologies showed similar level of reduction in water. However, in ASP, the waste less generated during the process has significant amount of ARBs. And same is also true for the ARGs and PPCPs. Through MTF, significant reduction in the abundance of targeted compounds were achieved without generating any waste less. Moreover, through MTF, a significant level of reduction in the abundance of these compounds was achieved at the HRT of two hours, which is one fourth the time required by ASP in removing these pollutants. In addition, uh, on comparing the cost required to treat one liter of the wastewater through a through conventional activated sludge process, the wastewater treatment cost is around 2.1 rupees per liter, while through MTF, this cost is around 0.7 rupees per liter, which is one third the cost required by the activated sludge process. So apart from uh, efficiently removing uh, pollutants from wastewater, MTF poses various other advantages, such as it can be operated at lower HRT, energy efficient and cost effective, and also generates negligible sludge during the process. And the sponge used in this, in this reactor has their own advantages, such as this cheap and locally available material is highly porous and stable at the different environmental conditions. And from installation point of view, design of MTF is very compact and requires less footprint for installation. Therefore, MTF is a suitable candidate for the installation at the, at the places where availability of space is constrained. In addition, the main advantage of MTF makes it perfect re replacement for the conventional activator sludge process is the energy requirement. MTF is an energy efficient system and did not require any external aeration uh, source like the conventional acti activator sludge process. So uh, therefore, uh, considering good removal of conventional and emerging pollutants from wastewater, it can be concluded that the MTF reactor can be seen as a promising decentralized waste treatment option for the developing countries like India. Thank you.